president doesn't want the dollar to be lower. The president is very concerned that foreign countries have manipulated their currencies lower through various easy money practices that, by the way, don't engender economic growth. He would prefer, and I want to go back to the G7 idea, if these other countries, if our friends, would adopt some of the pro-growth policies that we have adopted, their growth would improve markedly, and so would their currencies. And that's why it's very important that the formal G7 meetings include this section on the economy, trade, and currency. That's, that's the key point. Now, we are still planning for the Chinese team to come over here in September. We have a very good trade deal in North America called USMCA. And it's a deal that would add uh, a half to one percentage point additional GDP per year if we get it through the Congress this fall. And Speaker Pelosi's been very good and very accommodative. She works well with Bob Lighthizer, and I'm, I'm kind of optimistic about that. But we have that. And as you recall, a couple weeks ago, we announced a beef deal with the uh, EU. And we're going to have more talks uh, uh, here and at the G7 on that point. What the president's trying to say is there's no near-term tax cuts for stimulus or fighting recession. We don't have that point of view. We think the economy is in sound shape. We're staying with our program on lower tax rates, deregulation, energy opening, and lowering trade barriers. Folks are working. They're spending, uh, and they're saving, which is terrific. And there's no end, to me, there's no end in sight.